According to the Northern Regional Health Directorate, about 29 employees of the Tamale Central Hospital have been asked to self-isolate together with their families after their samples were taken for testing. Currently, the region has three new cases, raising the number to 19, out of which 12 persons have recovered. Two of the new cases were imported from Bogatanga in the Upper East region and Salga in the Savannah region. In an interview with City News, the Northern Regional Health Director, John Eliza, says the deceased had no travel history. From the, she sells uh, oranges by the roadside, so it means she has been interacting with a lot of people, the customers. So it's likely that's where you might have picked it from. Otherwise, uh, it's difficult to tell. Now we're going to do contacts in the house. Maybe when we get to the house, we'll get to know the kind of interaction the people they interact with in the house. If there's somebody there who maybe came from outside or uh, had had contact with somebody else, it is possible to have uh, transmitted it to, to her. So for now, we, can, we don't want to speculate. Uh, the health officers that were involved as well to self-isolate, all their samples have been taken and they are to do self-isolation. When City News visited the Tamale Central Hospital, where the death was recorded, there were only a handful of patients at its outpatient department. The administrator of the hospital, Abdullah Fatal, says OPD attendance has reduced drastically from over 300 patients daily to 40 in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. He says this is taking a toll on the hospital's revenue generation. Hospital uh, generates revenue, revenue from the clients that we see. Clients come to the hospital with their insurance and when we see them, we submit bills uh, uh, to the insurance uh, scheme to, to pay us. So as they are no more coming, uh, it affected the revenue generation tremendously. We're seeing about 350 people a day on the on the average. And uh, after the advent of the COVID-19, we are now seeing about uh, just 40 people a day. You can imagine this discrepancy from 350 to uh, 40 people a, a day. And it affected our admissions too tremendously because admissions vary directly with uh, attendance. Our admission to reduce drastically from about um, an occupancy rate of about 90% um, uh, uh, in the, before COVID to about uh, now uh, just about 30%. So it has, it has affected our operations tremendously.